Hi, so today I thought it would be fun. What's going on with my hair? I thought it would be fun if I showed you how to, well, how I clean up my eyebrows. Um, I don't get them like waxed or anything and I definitely don't wax them at home. Um, you know, do that at your, your own risk really. Uh, but what I do is I pluck and I shape. So my glasses are like not, this headband thingy is like mess, messing with my glasses. So um, before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed before you leave, and you can give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out. Um, and then you can follow me on my makeup-related Instagram. I post more daily stuff there, uh, giveaways, you know, all that jazz. So all that stuff is always down below, but let's just dive right in. Oh, this is close enough for you to see, but I'm just going to work on this eyebrow. Um, so the tools I have in front of me are tweezers and this little, like, shaper thing. It's from Japanesque. It's made for eyebrow shaping. So, um, I have a little mirror. I like to get really close to my face with my mirror because I'm blind. <laughs> it's really the only reason. So, first thing I'm going to do is, I hope you can see it, but all these, like, hairs right here. I'm going to clean up around this side. And what I do is I take my little shaper thing. These are only a couple dollars, so it's definitely not an investment. Um, but, you know, they're really good. So I'm just going to clean up around my eyebrows and just go in, like, short motions like that. I'm not really doing it right now, but that's what I'm going to do. You can see like little fuzz came off. Alright, so that's probably it for that. Um and I guess we'll just do it on the other side too. So there's a couple hairs that I need to pluck on the outside. Um but yeah, so basically what I do is I try to follow where my brow is naturally. Um, I don't over pluck and I just pluck things that are just like kind of out of line. So over here, we're still on this side. Um, over here, there's just like a couple. that are just a little bit out of line. They're being very difficult, so I'm just going to leave it as is and then go over here. So that's really it. So now I'm going to pluck underneath. And I don't know if you can see, but I have a couple little hairs that are kind of out of line right here. So I'm going to just clean that up a little bit. And then over here, there's only like one or two that I'm going to pluck. And that's just like they're very far from where my brow is. Oops. I keep pinching myself. So that's kind of it. I just make sure... That they're not like just really far like I don't mind if there's a couple hairs that are you know a little out of place but the idea is that I don't want there to be like hairs down here or hairs up here that kind of thing all right well that's pretty much it I'll take this um, device again and just go in the middle And then I'm also going to just clean up my mustache with this. And these are great for like if you want to get that peach fuzz. You see? It's a lot. Um... 
but I'll do that occasionally. That is pretty much it. So now I will go in and fill in my eyebrow. I'm just going to take this CoverGirl. What is this called? The Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Rich Brown. And after you um, do your brows, I don't know what's happening right there. <laughs> but after you do your brows, it should be like easier to kind of shape them with a pencil. I just like them to be like very natural. I don't really like like the Instagram brows. Also, I don't know how to do them. So like that kind of sways how I how I do my brows. But yeah, so sometimes my arch is like very high, but it's fine. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of brow gel. This is by the Brow Gal. And then we'll put a little bit of concealer underneath just to clean it up a little bit. That is pretty much it for this brow routine. Um, they're a little bit dark right now because I'm obviously not wearing any other makeup. But I hope that was helpful to you. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know. I feel like people don't really go for like natural styles. I, well, that's not true. I mean, whatever. I hope that this was helpful or at least like now you know about this tool because this is an awesome tool. Um, I know they're a little bit like fierce right now. And I feel like this one's a little bit darker than that one, but it's fine. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!